We're out filming another adventure, but in the video you're about to see, we ended up catching a bunch of bluefish. I ended up flaying them up, and we ended up cooking them with the recipe one of you guys, my fans, sent us. So check this out. This is the Catch and Cook Bluefish Marinara. Good morning. Whoa, the sun just got right in my eyeballs. Good morning, there's Sizzle Nation. I can't even see. There we go. Uh, how are you guys are doing? Great. Today is the first fishing trip for us after the bomb cyclone affected like the whole coast of the east coast of the United States. So it's a little windy, but I'm getting prepared, getting my shoes on, and gonna load the truck right now. If you're new to the channel, my name's Brian. I'm Darcy's boyfriend, and we quit our jobs like two years ago so that we could fish full time and live our dreams. And hopefully, with these videos, we're gonna be fishing and inspiring you guys to fulfill your dreams too, no matter what they are. Fish on! Woo. All right, we got a fish on. Just started fishing, literally. Oh, we just just splash. Might be a nice blue fish or something cool. Oh yeah, looks like it's a blue fish. Awesome. But it's just a really windy day out here, and it's just the two of us again. We almost need like a second person to actually um, drive the boat for us, but we're gonna deal with what we got and hopefully we're gonna catch a lot of fish today, but Starting off the day great so far Why do you have to go over there? Of course you have to go over there Check it out That is a decent blue fish for this area All right, I'm pretty happy about this fish here. He is gonna make a great date as well but we don't normally eat them because there's plenty of other great things to eat around here. So we just don't prefer to. But I know a lot of you guys do. And he just puked up something crazy. Not even sure what this is. But he just puked that up. That's kind of gross. It was in his belly. And this guy, they get huge. If you guys know, if you're from the Northeast, these guys get monstrous, like 20 pounds or so. And I also wanted to mention that, you know, you have to be safe on the water, whether you're inshore or you're offshore. Make sure you have your PLB with you, which I have attached to me right here, which is my personal locator beacon. And if you just hit the button on it and you need help, it's connected to the satellites and they're gonna come rescue you right away. And honestly, even inshore, you can get lost and you can get thrown overboard. And you might not make it back to shore. You just never know what might happen out there. So always be prepared and have that added sense of security with you. What a beautiful blue fish. All right, going to get lines back out. Another fish on. Not sure what this is, but literally just hooked this fish just after I got that other fish off my lure. All right, blue fish in the boat. Nice job, Sizzle slaying those blue fish. Yeah. <laughs> it always it's mayhem today. Anytime we're going to hook a fish, it's going to get crazy. <laughs> well, the, wind just, yeah. the wind just pushing us all over. Fish on. Same species we've been catching. Here it comes. They love to jump. Whoa, choke that lure. Chill out, chill out. Oh my gosh. This fish is not gonna live. He's bleeding like crazy. Sizzle, you're making a huge mess in the boat. Oh my god. Come on now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this poor fish. Poor fish, poor my well, boat. Poor fish, but he's gonna be a great stone crab bait. We might need to call our boat dealer, de de boat detailer again. What's that boat detailer name again? Oh yeah. Uh, I'll put it right here. Put it right Majestic here. Majestic yacht detailing. Majestic yacht detailing. Yeah, we're ruining the great job we done in our boat. Sorry, but if you guys need some detailing, check them out. Names right here. Link down below. And we'll put the link below. Laddie. Whoa! No, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> He's off. He's off again. I think there's a huge school of bluefish back there. Yeah. I just hooked the fish, lost the fish, hooked the fish, lost the fish, and then hooked the fish. All in about 15 seconds. And I see blood on the line. It's all blue fish. Woo! Angry blue fish. Kill me. Woohoo! I got one now. These things fight hard. Woohoo, even I'm catching fish. The bluefish blitz, it's like I'm back on Long Island. Oh, it came off. Just lost a fish, reminds me of fishing with my dad. Ooh, fish on! Okay, the conditions just really got crazy out here. We 
because there's a storm right over here. It's picking up the wind. It's really cold, and I'm not having like a whole lot of fun just because I'm freezing. Woo! And he spit. That was perfect. Perfect release. How's this weather, though, Sizzle? Freezing and gross, <laughs> and I feel like I live up north right now. It's the worst. <laughs> it's a chilly, chilly wind, and I have no leggings on. Ooh. I figured like since we couldn't finish our fishing trip and I have never tasted a bluefish before and you guys love our catch and cook videos I figured why not do a bluefish catch and cook today. I have my nine inch tapered flex bubble blade knife. It's really flexible if you've seen this in videos. I usually use the seven inch but today I'm going to use the nine inch blade and this is the honing rod or sharpening steel ten inch and I'm gonna fillet it. Um, fillet it. I'm gonna sharpen it really quick. So if you're interested in checking out these knives, they're linked down in the description below. Honestly, I don't even think I've like ever filleted a bluefish before. I might have like cut them in half for bait in the past, but this is going to be interesting. I'm curious to see what the color is of the meat. But basically, I'm going to make the first cut right behind this dorsal fin right here. And you just cut down at an angle, like a 45 degree angle, kind of down to like the middle of the fish. So I just made that initial cut. And you always want to make sure you have a sharp knife. It's going to get the job done for you. If you have a dull knife, it's actually a lot more dangerous and it's going to be twice as hard to fillet a fish correctly. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the blade in up to on top, right on this uh, spine right here. And I'm going to follow the spine all the way down. And this is a standard way you would fillet any type of fish. And usually I like to make a cut through the tail and just cut off that tail piece just, just to get it done with. And now I'm just going to use my thumb and pull it up and just follow the bone down to the middle spine. And then here's the spine, so you gotta just follow it with your knife, go over it. Once you get over that spine, then you work your knife back down at a 45 degree angle. Just follow the bone. There is a bunch of pin bones in a lot of fish right here by their rib cage and where their stomach is. So you're going to want to break those pin bones with your knife. All right. Also, another tip is you want to make sure that you kind of keep the intestines and the stomach intact. You don't want to open that up in the middle of your fillet and have all those juices come out and it's going to ruin your fish meat. So uh, try to keep that intact, intact as best as you can. Let's do the other side. Sorry guys, if you don't know, I'm left-handed. So if this looks weird, I'm sorry. I have a lot of how-to fillet videos with different species of fish. I even have a playlist on my channel. So if you guys want to actually see like a how-to video, step-by-step -step on how to fillet fish, be sure to check that out. I've never done this before. I'm going to give this whole fish to this bird. He wants it. Oh, he caught it. Dude. Insane. I have to say this meat is not the prettiest meat I've ever seen, but I'm still curious to try it see how it tastes. I'm going to go ahead and skin it right now. And what I do with that is you want to have the fillet as close as possible to your body and just push your knife in at a 45 degree angle and hold on to the skin and just work it back and forth up all, all the way up the fillet. Just cutting out the bloodline. I didn't realize how thick of the bloodline the bluefish have, but we usually don't like to eat that. You can keep it on if you want to eat it, but I prefer not to. All right, wash my hands. Let's go cook this fish. Thanks for cleaning those fish, Sizzle. Now I'm going to cook it. Now, I put a post on Facebook, or Darcy put a post on Facebook asking for recipes for bluefish. Now, I'm from Long Island. I know we eat bluefish up there. I've had bluefish before, but now you're in Florida. We don't eat bluefish down here, man, okay? There's plenty of other better fish. Right, Dizzle? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. She saw those fillets, but, but she was, was cleaning them up. Yeah, it was incredible engagement on that post, and a lot of you guys had great suggestions, so we ended up picking the best recipe with the stuff was, we currently have at the house. Or the easiest. But, yeah, we don't have a smoker <laughs> or anything like that. Yeah. Most of the people said, throw it back. If you're not Bait, following us on Facebook, which I agree with. 
follow us on Facebook in the link down below if you're not. Good point. Check so, it out. Like number one was like smoke it and then fry it. We can do that with anything. But uh, Joey Leggio, longtime follower, you guys might know him up on Long Island. He's got a charter company, I think. He came up with a simple recipe, and we're gonna do that right now. So Darcy is. We're gonna first. We're gonna put salt and pepper on it. Go ahead. All right. Now I put some olive oil in the pan. It's all heated up, and we're just gonna saute this fish in here. And while we're sautéing this, I think Darcy has a very important update about what's going on with her family. Yes, I do have an update for you guys regarding Connor, my brother, and you guys haven't seen him in over three months now. He shipped him off to boot camp, boot camp in the middle of October, so I spoke to him today for the first time ever since he's been at boot camp, and now Connor is an official U.S. Marine, which is totally exciting. He received his EGA, which is the Eagle Globe and Anchor, the little official sign that makes him a Marine, and he told me on the phone today, we spoke for a little bit, and he said he's ready to go fishing. He's been getting up at 4 a.m. every single day, so he could go fishing at 4 a.m., and you guys know I'm not a morning person, so he's he's definitely gonna be wanting to go getting up ready to go early in the morning and um, he's just really excited to be back home get some sleep and eat a lot of food and graduation day is right around the corner so you guys gotta subscribe and stay tuned for that all right guys now like I've told you before uh, fish and a lot of things about 10 uh, minutes per inch and you can see the white around the sides and it's been there for a couple minutes so I'm gonna flip this over looks pretty nice and uh, we're just gonna cook the other side now all right, now for what Joey told me is a secret ingredient is you're going to put some marinara sauce on top of this. Now listen, I'm from Long Island. I know guys named Joey. I know guys named Anthony. And I know a lot of guys named Mike. And they wouldn't be putting no jaw sauce on nothing. So I don't know what's going on, Joey. But I'm, I'm in Florida right now, so I'm going to use this jaw sauce. But you guys from Long Island know this is not the proper procedure. Almost got in trouble there. All right, that looks like it's all... Heat it up. I took one piece out just so I could taste it plain. But uh, here we got the Joey Leggio Bluefish Special here. And then Joey put on some Parmesan or some other cheese on there. And he had some good stuff. But if he's going to use jaw sauce, I'm going to use this, this junk in this can here. All right, ladies first. Yep. Doesn't look very appetizing. I'm not all that excited. I gotta be honest with you guys. It, it looks pretty good to me. Joey but, said it, it's gonna look like chicken. I mean, there's a reason why like this chicken. Florida girl has never tasted bluefish in my whole life. So it's delicious. <laughs> Long a lot Island. Of other good fish, but we're gonna try it right now. It's a Long Island style. It's good. It's okay. I, I mean, definitely the red sauce makes it. There's definitely a whole lot of um, fishy taste in there and just a little bit like chewy, like towards it, but try the, try the it's piece a lot no. more fishier than like normal fish. More fishier. More fishier. Try the one without the no, red sauce. No, my favorite word. Try the one without more the red fishier. sauce. More fishy. I'm trying the one without the red sauce. I'm doing the red sauce. It's not bad. Now we forgot to bleed it, although the fish was bleeding a lot, but yeah. supposed to bleed it, ice it up good, eat it the same day. With most fish, that's true, especially with bluefish, kingfish, things like that. Yes. Um, but it was, I thought it was really good. Thanks so much for the recipe, Joey. Thanks to all you guys that commented in that bluefish request post on Facebook. Uh, it was an incredible amount of comments Darcy got on there, so really yeah. excited. Yeah, huge engagement. That's a plus. Yeah, we love Thank the engagement. We love to, you know, talk yeah. to you guys. Yeah. So, uh, and you guys always have great ideas. And, like, honestly, I'm learning new stuff all the time. And whoever gave me that garlic trick, like, was shaking it up in the jar, was awesome. They and use it all the time. You guys. So, you guys are the best. We learn from each other. This is exactly what we want to do. And, honestly, the tomato sauce took off that fishy, like, taste to it, that pungent taste. So, now it's, like, we're actually really good <laughs> with a, a good amount of sauce and uh, cheese on there. But thank you guys so much, as always. And I hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook episode. Make sure if you did to go ahead and comment below, give us a like, sub, hit that bell notification, all that great all stuff. All that stuff. Have a land shark. Please do. Yeah, have a land shark, <laughs> which you should be doing right now. But oh well. Okay. But we're stay tuned, guys. We're gonna be posting a lot more great content this week. We got a lot of exciting stuff, an exciting trip coming up to Paris Island for my brother's graduation. So stay tuned. And until our next adventure, follow your dreams and keep on catching. You get back. You get back, Pelican.